Well guys, all of this crazy rain in Arizona has taught us one thing. Never say that it never rains. We even had some hail, which is super rare for the Phoenix area. Also, I have decided to completely change how we house everybody on the farm and uh, we're gonna tear it all down. Now, I wanted to rent a tractor so that we could tear this thing down fast, but Kevin says that we can do it just as fast. We'll see about that. Right now, there's no rain in the forecast, so we're gonna take this chance to change how we do things around here. And later in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the exciting new projects that are gonna happen in this year. All right, are you ready for this? Okay, make the first swing, do it! What do you think about this, Moon Rider? If you wanna go Got to find a way If you want to go I Told you 30 seconds <laughs> Well, I really thought since it took us like a day to put up <laughs> That it would take that long to put, take it down Wow, the go house is gone Watch out, Moon Rider This tree has not grown one inch in the last two years. three years three or something. Years. So we decided we don't like it in this spot anyway because it's blocking our pathway that we have to walk there. So I think we're gonna let the goats have a fun day trying to tear it down. They're almost like, who cares? That would take me two seconds to eat those leaves. Yeah, they, they're not as interested as we thought. Let me just give it to them. Cause it'll okay, yeah, let's just pull it down. Here you go, Luna. It's just for you. Look. Yum. A little extra treat today. We can eat the five leaves on that tree. He's so funny. I'm working and he's under his vacation martini umbrella laying down. Enjoying life right now. Just chilling. It's just funny because look. Look, all of them are standing and like staring at us. Even the cats. Even the cats are out here. Oh my gosh. That balloon is in there with Moonrider because she wanted to be, even though she's not in heat at all. <laughs> he's not at all interested in her. She wanted to be in here. Yeah. <laughs> but he knows if he climbs the mountain, she can't. Yep. Trying to get away from her. <laughs> Aw. Sorry, That's Luna. Sad. You don't need a man. Yeah. All right, we've decided on the name of the new turkey. After going through every single fruit that we could think of, we finally decided <laughs> and on. All, on all the comments, there were lots of good comments. Lots of fruits, lots of <laughs> everything. We really like mango. Yeah. We think it's cute. It goes together like kiwi and mango. Yeah, I think it goes together. I mean, banana was pretty funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> Banana's a derpy name. We don't want another Luna on this one. <laughs> yeah. We'll save banana for one of, one of the goat babies that yeah, is right. derpy. Okay. Well, Ethan, uh, was this your idea or dad's idea? Um, I think we both kind of had the idea together. <laughs> Just to tie it with the rope. Yeah. Piece some no, chains. Chain so then that makes it safe. Chains are strong. 
It's the end of pallet season on the farm. Pallets always sound like it's a really cool, cheap way to build stuff on the farm, but they always fall apart really easily and they look horrible. We're gonna be a pallet-free farm now. This is a perfect Kevin's craft though. Yeah. Cause this used to be around these old water containers that broke. We've used them for cages. Wow. And now it's gonna protect, <laughs> you broke the branch. Our one branch. Uh, I don't know, can, hey, they, hey, hey, can the goats still get in there? Uh, they probably can, but we're okay with them eating. Let's see. Yeah, we want them to eat oh, the no, bottom. Luna. Luna. Oh, Luna. Luna. Well, yeah, we're okay if they trim it down low like that. We want them to eat the bottom, we just want them to go up. The only problem is, Kevin, I could see Luna putting her feet up here and eating this. Yeah, yeah she's, she's like gonna this. do that. Is it okay if we throw them? go. Hey, you think help me with the sugar? We'll help him with that real quick. All right, the question is, will the golf cart be able to pull the trailer full of junk? What do you think, Lydia? I don't know. You almost stepped on her oh, last time. Sorry, Kiwi. Kiwi's been so friendly now that her, now that her peacocks are gone. She just sits around. She wants to lay on more eggs. Doesn't she look kind of old? Yeah, she's, she's like grandma. She's like turkey penny. She's like turkey she's like penny. Turkey <laughs> penny, I'm not even joking. Look, the color. You might have to push back a little bit. No, well, we'll you see. Watch out, Ethan. Ethan, move. I'll push behind the chair. Yeah, Ethan. Just, just push a little bit. Don't get smashed, Ethan. One. You're not even behind that. He's going to pull. He can't There's no room. He can't. Okay. Three. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Go Ethan, oh, watch a... out for that really really sharp barbed wire stuff. Who would have known, Lydia? Dad's crazy ideas. I love how we asked the tallest person in our family to get in there. Help! You did it. Kevin thinks that we can move this all together. We did it once, and we can do it again. I film, you guys move. <laughs> good job, good job. Watch. Where are we going? We're going all the way over there. Uh oh. Pivot. Watch out for the tree. You gotta get around it. Yep, there's Luna way over there trying to eat our tree. Should we go stop her? Yeah, we'll figure out a way to protect her, to protect it from her. Luna, stop it! Who can her, Ethan? <laughs> Get her! Run! Get her down. Take her down! Tackle her! Oh, okay. She's like, she's like, what? I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> It's working, Kevin. They're not eating it at all. <laughs> I don't think our idea was very good. One big hole right here. Yeah, Willow's got her head in that hole. One big hole. You yeah. found the one big hole. Well, we just need smaller holes all over. You know, like, like that tree over there that we have all protected. We gotta do that. We gotta do that. Turn it. No. Work. Here, where's those ties? It's not gonna work. Where's those ties? While they finish up the last bit of the cleanup on the farm, I'm gonna show you guys a couple dishes that I've made for some holiday parties recently. Now, the goal of these is not healthy, but I was able to use a few things from the garden, so it's still a win. Also, be sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm gonna show you the amazing project we're gonna do out there in the goat area. Seems 
like forever since we've been together. I don't know if you guys have had this one before, but you make bow tie pasta and then you combine two fruits, two green things, <laughs> some cashews, and a sauce. And then I topped the whole thing with parsley after I was done. We call it the bow tie cashew salad and it is a fan favorite. So I will go ahead and post the link to the recipe below if you wanna check that out. The second one is homemade baked beans. Now I know you can buy a can of pork and beans at the store and on some occasions that's what you gotta do, but if you wanna make it from scratch, it's really good. So you'll start out by sauteing some onions and garlic, then you'll add the beans and Finally, you'll add a special sauce that has, believe it or not, ketchup and mustard in it and a tiny bit of barbecue sauce. The whole thing is really delicious, especially when you can slow bake it or slow cook it in a crock pot. Makes it taste amazing. All right, guys, are you ready for this? So the first thing that we're gonna work on is a new feeding area right next to the milking station. So we're gonna provide a cover over the whole thing. And this is where Kevin's gonna put his amazing goat feeder invention. So we'll see how that turns out. But this will also be a place that will store some minerals and it's just gonna be a great place out of the rain <laughs> so that the goats can eat their food and it'll also just um, provide a little bit of shade over here. Now as you guys know we primarily use this goat pen for when we're breeding the goats or when we have new baby goats that are hopping around and we want them to be, pr to be protected and safe. So what we need here is a little miniature goat barn. The plan is to make it a safe space for the mamas and the babies, and then also be able to open the doors when it's raining and let them go in and get coverage from the rain. Now, living in Arizona, not very many people have barns for their animals. It's just usually too hot and stuffy inside of them. So most people have open shelters, but this is gonna be kind of the best of both worlds and hopefully solve all the little problems we've had on the farm as we've been trying to house different animals. Finally, in the back pig area, we are going to build a little shelter for Hermione, as well as a border all around the whole thing so no little piggies can escape. So that's the current plan. We're gonna start with the feeding area, move over to the goat barn and do the pig section, and hopefully we can get it all done before we start having babies here around the farm.